What up, family? This video, man, I, I like the shadows in it. We're, we got a good message. It's perfect for the shadows. The name of this message is, I am the devil. I am the devil. Baphomet Bible, episode 116. The Church of Jory Richard. I am the devil. You go to the book of 1 John. It says, He that committed sin is of the devil. Do you commit sin? Do you sin? Because there's none good, no not one. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. They come short. They don't you don't fall short of the glory of God. You come short. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. He that committed sin is of the devil. And why do you call me Lord? And you do not what I say. You were of your father, the devil. He was a liar and a murderer from the beginning. And he abode not in the truth. Because there is no truth in him. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. That's what my lower self. That is what my fleshly desires and the humanistic me is about. The one that has a thorn a thorn in my... What did, what did Paul say? He said, I got a thorn in my ass? Where where was the thorn at? In his paw? Like Aslan, the lion? Well, fucking Paul said, hey, I'm struggling with some shit. He said, hey, the things that I want to do, I don't do. And the thing that I hate, that I do. And Paul's like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'm doing the exact thing that I don't want to do. He that committed sin is of the devil. And a man came to Jesus and he said, Good teacher, what good thing shall I do that I may inherit the kingdom of heaven? And Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good, no not one, save God. But if thou wilt enter in the life, keep the commandments. And he said, all these commandments I have kept from my youth. And then Jesus said, sell everything you own and give it to the poor. And then come and you will have great treasures in heaven. And pick up your cross, deny yourself and follow me. And the man left and he was sorrowful because he had great riches. And Jesus loved him and he said, how hard is it? For a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Jesus loved this motherfucker. Who just couldn't accept the saying. Because the fucking guy didn't want to sell everything he owned. And give it to the poor. Fucking shit. He gathered up all that shit his whole entire life. And he, he wasn't about to give it up. He's like, dude, just let me in the fucking kingdom of heaven. How do I get in? Believe on me. So, hey... The rich man could still get into heaven if he just believes on the Christ. Believes the truth. The words that proceeded forth out of the mouth of God. That's what the rich man has to believe. He that committed sin is of the devil. I went to multiple churches and people cannot handle that shit. They cannot handle that verse. And it's like, well, let me show you something. Do you commit sin? Well, the Bible says that you are of the devil. You're of your father and you abode not in the truth because there's no truth in you. And you hearken unto lies. In hypocrisy and the leaven of the Pharisees. People can't accept that. My lower self, when he hears that ye are of your father the devil, he freaks out, man. He that committed sin is of the devil. So it says, 
For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. And Jesus says, why you call me good? There's none good, save God. There's none good except one, and that is God. So why are you calling me good unless I'm God, unless God was manifest in the flesh? Do you believe that I am God? Do you believe that I am good? Because if I commit sin, well, then that means that I'm of the devil and I do the works of my father. Devil abode not in the truth. Evil abides not in the truth. Evil, the ignorance, the leaven, the lies, the hypocrisy, it abides not in the truth. But what does abide is the word of God. Being born again, not of corruptible seed. You're not born of corruptible seed. Get the fuck out of here with that corruptible ass seed from the NIV. Take that NIV and shove it up your fucking ass. Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. The word of God liveth and abideth forever. And the devil, he abides not in the truth. There is no truth in him. There is no truth in the devil. And he that committed sin is of the devil. Just admit that there's no truth in you. There is no truth in me whatsoever. I do the works of my father. I sell my soul to Satan for money. That's why I'm, I'm living in hell and I'm working and doing something that I hate. Because I sold my soul to the devil. I'm committing sin. So let's just be real. Let's... Admit it that we are children of the devil. But the word of God is completely different. The word of truth that you receive from the Father. And the Father is in my mind. This is where the Father is. In the kingdom of God. In the higher consciousness. The higher self. The most high. The perfect part of me that does not sin. Neither was guile found in his mouth. I have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that I might know the things which are freely given to me of God. Which the Holy Ghost speaketh, not of worldly bullshit man's wisdom, but the holy fucking guacamole ghost, the spirit of truth, speaks the words. So there's a difference between the word of truth and the word of lies. There is the leaven of the Pharisees, and then there is the leaven that the Son of God gives. The good doctrine, the perfect truth that ye have received and believed surely that I came from the Father. That is what you're to receive, because the Word of God, he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. Whoever believes on the name, the Word of God, the truth, they are the ones who are saved. They are the children of God. They are the ones that liveth and abideth forever. Not the fucking children of the devil. They don't abide in the truth. The fucking children of the devil don't abide in the truth. That's why you need to receive the truth and believe it. There's a difference between believing and knowing. I mean, we don't know shit. We don't know nothing. But we can believe. We can put all the facts together and make a logical decision and say, Well, I believe this. To be so. He that committed sin is of the devil. The devil sinneth from the beginning. And Jesus said that you, you might know that you have been with me from the beginning. Let's make man in our image. That's what I said. I said, all right, let's make these motherfuckers in our image, man. Man, when I was smoking a blunt, I'm like, yeah, let's do it, boy. Jesus. Jesus Christ up in this shit. Up in here. Up in here. 
You think that Jesus up in here, up in here, up in here. You do the works of your father, the motherfucking devil who does not abide in the truth because there's no truth in him. There is no truth in him. So take some fucking truth, put it in you. What is truth? That's what Pilate said. He's like, what the fuck is truth? Something that needs to be seeked. <laughs> you need to seek that shit and then you will find it. And the kingdom of God, seek seek first. The first thing you're to do is to seek first the kingdom of God. And where is it? Where Where is the kingdom? The kingdom of God is within you. Ear of your father, the devil. The devil sinneth from the beginning. Jesus said that I have been with him from the beginning. Let's make man in our image. The father, the ghost, and the the father, the word, and the Holy Ghost. These three are one. The word and the ghost, the spirit, they're one. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. The words that I speak unto you, I'm not speaking fucking lies to you. I'm not speaking the words of the devil, words of evil. I am speaking the words that I have heard from the Father, the higher consciousness, and therefore the words that I am speaking are the truth. And you could test it. Is it the truth or is it not? The truth will always stand. But you could prove the lie to be wrong. You know, you know that they went out among us but they were not of us. If they were of us, they would continue with us. But they went out to prove that they were not of us. They didn't abide. Whoever abides in the truth, they're of us. If you don't abide in, in the fucking truth, well then you've never received the seed, the incorruptible seed of everlasting motherfucking life. That's why you receive the seed that liveth and abideth forever. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, man? <sighs> he that committed sin is of the devil. I went to different churches. People couldn't fucking handle that shit. I said, do you sin? Do you sin, motherfucker? Do you sin, you cocksucking motherfucking piece of shit? That, that's what I told my lower self when I went to these churches. And people said, they didn't even know what to take. They wouldn't even answer me. I'm like, hey, the verse says, he that committed sin is of the devil. Do you sin? Yeah. Go around and be a hypocrite and condemn other people when, hey, you're not... You're not living the way that you should. You gotta live according to Jesus Christ, motherfucker. And that's perfection. And if you come short of the glory of God, well then it kind of looks like you're fucked, man. You're fucked and your gospel falls apart. Like you pick up sand in your hand and it falls through your fingers. It all evaporates like a vapor. You have nothing to stand on. There is no foundation because the foundation is believing the truth. And if you're standing on lies, you're going to be shaken and you will fall. And the fall of that man will be great. Because everyone is of the devil because he had committed sin. But that fucking incorruptible seed, the truth that you have received, that is the fucking thing that liveth and abideth. And it doesn't go anywhere Hey, Brianna, what up? I'm just ending the video right now. But the name of this video is I Am of the Devil. And I'm proving from the motherfucking Bible that it says he that committed sin is of the devil, right? What up, Brianna? I'm going to give you a call tomorrow. Maybe we could do something.
All right, I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to go. I, I already, I already said everything. It, it, it's time for the video to end. All right. Thanks for tuning in, Norm and Brianna. All right. This is Baphomet Bible, episode number 116. I am of the devil. The church of Jory Richard. Thank you for watching.